Hi guys and welcome back to Mummy Cook's Homemade. Look at that, that's what we're going to be cooking. So it's going to be the last gusto meal out of my second box. So this is garlic mushroom and sage gnocchi. I added the sausage to this myself because I'm a pig and I love meat. But I did pick this, in, this recipe because it was garlic mushroom and sage gnocchi. Oh, no, I want, never tried gnocchi, that's my sausage cut up. Look, look at this, look at all that. <laughs> because I like the look of the recipe. There was one ingredient in this that I really didn't like with it. And I'll get to that. So yeah, it was my first time trying gnocchi and I did enjoy it. I would love to try it cooked in other ways. Um, maybe crisped up in the air fryer and maybe on top of a casserole and crisped with some cheese on top instead of just boiled and put into a sauce. So yeah, let's get on with this. So there's me, as usual, with my sausages. <laughs> Tend to have a lot of sausage these days. <laughs> so yeah, we'll cook that until it's uh, cooked through. Nobody wants food poisoning. And I've got a pan in the background. Oh, I'm yawning. I don't apologise, guys. It's first thing in the morning. Just got the kids off to school. So there it is. Pan in the background. That is for the gnocchi. So going in now is 250 grams of chestnut mushrooms, which they provide. Love, love, love chestnut mushrooms. Bottom of my pan will clean up as soon as liquid goes into it. I never worry about the bottom of my pan. Then that just goes into the sauce. It's all flavour. It's all good. So the gnocchi is going into the pan now. And that was 350 grams. See the mushrooms have released some of their liquid lot in the pan at the front. So it's cleaning up the bottom of the pan. So that pan with the sausage and mushroom goes in 15 grams of roasted garlic paste and 5 grams of chopped sage. It said 40 grams of cheddar cheese. I added more because I wanted to add more. That's what that purple tub is, just to the far right that you can just see. That's my container of cheese. I wanted a little bit more in because I wanted to make, there's a the sage, I wanted to make it a bit more cheesy. There's a roasted garlic packet. They send that out all done. Put that in with the sage. They're such, they're so quick these meals. This was a 10 minute meal. So that's gone in. So it went flying, I don't know what it was. So here's me with the cheese. I do put more in than that. Yoke is on the back, bubbling away. Now the ingredient that was supposed to, well it did go in, not supposed to, that was put in that I wasn't keen on was pine nuts. I did not, I can't say I didn't like them. I just didn't like them in this, if that makes sense. Whereas the rice dish that I had, if you remember, with the pistachios and cranberries, if you watch that, guys, that was lovely. Love the pistachios in it, but I just did not like the pine nuts in this. So when I make it again, and I will make it again, I will not be adding the pine nuts. Season it to your own taste. Mm. 
Now I'm going to scoop out the gnocchi look. I haven't drained it fully. If you watch, I do it a bit, but I don't take all of that water off because I want some of it just to make that saucy. Give that a good stir in. Here we go, look, there you go. <laughs> now that's not 40 grams of cheddar cheese, is it? That's just me chucking things in willy-nilly. And I'm adding a bit of the starched water look to help thicken it up. So even I don't follow recipes to the tea. Never have. That's why I don't like recipes. <laughs> oh, my dog was down there, by the way, near my feet. She soon ran off with that piece of gnocchi. Oh, there's my head. Wonderful, Amy. Anyway. Just what they wanted to see, your head. I don't add any more cheddar to this, by the way. <laughs> I think there's enough in there. So in the, you also are given 50 grams of rocket, and to that is 15 mils of white wine vinegar. I also added a dash of Dijon mustard and mixed it round for a dressing. There it is in the bowl. I'll dish this up. You can see it, it's plenty for two people. I'm trying not to give Steve too much because I want to. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, look at that. that piece of sausage thought it escaped, but I spotted it. See, I just dressed that, that rocket there. Steve loves rocket, and this is wild rocket, I do believe. And there you go. And that came with garlic bread as well. Obviously, we didn't have just two pieces of garlic bread, but you know, for plating, for plating reasons, not to look too much of a dustbin. <laughs> yeah, I could eat that sausage again now. I'm so hungry. <laughs> right, guys. So yes, that was the garlic mushroom sausage and sage gnocchi with the rocket and the garlic bread. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn the notification bell on and I'll speak to you down in the comment section. Just before that though, guys, please remember, um, there is a link down below. We did get four meals for two adults for £12. And if you want to try something new but don't want to spend too much money, it's ideal really, to be honest. So yeah, that link's there if you want it. It's going to be there. It, even if it takes you five, six weeks to decide, that link will still be there. So, okay, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.